but we did want to talk about Taylor Swift. Oh God, <laughs> everyone's favorite topic. I know, um, right? It's our mandatory every like three week yeah, topic. We really haven't talked about her much on the podcast because yeah. there wasn't much to say. But I think now that the Super Bowl set, Taylor yeah. will likely be at the Super Bowl. She was on the field during the celebration. Yeah, we can kind of offer our collective takes on it because yeah. I feel like a lot of people agree, but there still is definitely like a negative sentiment. Yeah. Um, and I think especially because we're some, like college age people, we have a lot of like friends and people enjoy taylor swift yes. and i think we have a little bit more of like a better insight to the i whole could thing. well because i think i i not trying to toot my own horn but i think i got a bit of a nuanced take with it because look at the end of the day big picture the nfl is a business all right the end of the day no matter what the nfl is a business they care about the bottom dollar right and something that is always good for that league is to have a villain because it makes every other fan base feel like their team is the good guys. And it makes them want to watch their team more. And you hate one team. They had it for 20 years with the Patriots. Like 23 years, something like that. It was ridiculous. They had one team that everybody hated in the league. Collectively. We could all cheer and root against this one team. And everybody in that fan base loved their team to death. And that fan base then gave so much more time and energy to that team. So then that made everybody feel like, well, we got to catch up because now it's an arms race. So now we have to then compensate for that. So the NFL loves villains because you need it. You need one of those. And the NFL's point of view, oh, well, how else can we piss people off? <laughs> oh, so you're telling me that people don't love seeing Taylor Swift all the time okay well then we're just gonna get a camera on her whenever we can but here's the thing she's not even um, on yeah. screen yeah. that much so i'm gonna if i, rem like, if I remember i'll uh, link the new york yes. times article new york times did a great piece on how much she's actually on camera i believe it is an average of 32 to 42 sec 32 to 34 seconds i can't remember which one not to mention she was on the miami broadcast for a minute because the game was so bad because the the Dolphins couldn't score and the broadcast was horrible because it was like the least popular game. So that's with the one minute outlier. But well, the, for the past, well, yeah. So that's my whole thing is that I think that, you know, when we're looking at like villain teams, right? We always like it. Everything feels bigger than it actually is, right? Like how we look at things like deflate game. It really, if you look at what happened, wasn't that big of a deal. Oh. It really wasn't that deep. No. Spygate, different story. That literally was them bugging a locker room. That was a whole other thing. But it makes it feel like there's a lot more going on. Like how we feel like, oh, maybe the refs are favoring the Chiefs because they capitalize on those penalties. They don't make a ton of mistakes. And whenever the other team makes a mistake, the Chiefs end up winning. So that's why it feels like there's a lot more like of like this um it makes the Chiefs feel like this this villain, right? So that's why whenever you see Taylor Swift, it's oh well, they put her on all the time because they put her on after a touchdown and half the time people are looking at their phones during the entire game so that whenever they hear the announcer start screaming, they look up and see, oh there's there's a touchdown. Oh there's Taylor Swift because Travis Kelsey scored. So it makes it really feel like she's on the screen a lot more when she is she over the past two games has been on the screen for a less screen time than Jason Kelsey was without a shirt on. That's false. No. How close is it? Three seconds off. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but and that's what I was going to say is Travis Kelsey had five catches, 75 yards, two touchdowns against the Bills. She was on screen for 24 seconds. The girlfriend to like the second most popular player on the Chiefs. Yeah, maybe mo honestly he might be more popular than, than uh, Patrick. Yeah, and then Jason Kelsey, who was acting like an out of control <laughs> adult who was shirtless, yeah. had twenty one seconds. But no one had a problem with Jason Kelsey, who was drunk and shirtless, being yeah. on camera. But people had the I can't watch Taylor Swift anymore because she's the just screen. She's on just screen. on it too much. Like, and, what do you want her to do? And we do? followed up her being on screen too much in the Bills game with 32 seconds of her being on in the Chiefs Ravens game. 
Also, and, I'm pretty sure one of the times she was on the screen was for like an ad for the Grammys. Yes. And yes, it was that because Stevie yeah. had the call. And not to mention, Travis Kelsey had one of the best games of his career with yeah. 11 catches, 116 yards, and a touchdown against the Ravens. And ridiculous catches, by the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, for the Dolphins game, she was on for a minute and 16 seconds. This is all on the New York Times we're calling below. Chiefs Bengals. She was on for 12 seconds. <laughs> the Chiefs Raiders on Christmas Day, 14 seconds. So this this notion that she's on a lot, I think someone ran like the the division. I think it's 0.42% of the game yeah, it's, is devoted yeah. to Taylor Swift coverage. Um, Peter, did you have anything more you wanted to Well, add? just really my, my big thing is it's like for the people that are screaming at their TVs saying that she should get off the screen, whatever. I understand why you think she's on the screen more often than not. But what my message to you is, it's not that deep. I promise you, it's really not that deep. And if you've seriously got issues with a woman who is one of, one of, if not the most popular person on the planet. She was Spotify's most streamed artist. At this yeah. point, being on the screen for under a minute in all of these games because she is dating one of the most popular and famous people in the NFL who's on the best team in the league. I I don't know what to tell you, man. Like it's, it's not that deep. Like just kind of get over yourself. Like, yep. especially to all these dads that are like trying to get online and say like, Oh, I hate Taylor Swift, like whatever, all this stuff. And it's like, you're screaming all of this probably in front of your daughter who probably likes Taylor Swift. And it's like, dude, like that's not a good message to be sending to your kids. Like, because you get all these other fathers that are like, you know, I love that Taylor is on the, like, is being talked about more because it's bringing my wife and daughter into the football community. Because it's like, oh, well, I wasn't interested in football before, but now that Taylor's dating Travis, uh, Travis, I was about to say Travis Swift, <laughs> Travis <laughs> Kelsey. At this point, yeah. Uh, at this point but it's because the whole thing is like i mean she did put him on she did put him on the map so bringing those bringing more people into the league is into the watching into the audience it's good for everybody it brings a different demographic and it brings a new perspective like guys stop crying about it it's it's really not that deep and it's so annoying at this point yeah, like it. It's so annoying. So you were on like a point that I was thinking about is sports. This is like a more societal thing. Leisure in sports watching in this country has ke- keeps going down from the past. Um, NFL ratings have been relatively high, but on a week to week basis, especially like when you look at sports like the NFL, MLB, NHL, they face a problem with people are not watching sports as much because they're busy and we're more in a work focused society. Society. Streaming platforms are kind of taking over cal- television. Yep. Um, so you don't like the Peacock did their the game, the Chiefs and the uh, Dolphins. Dolphins, Dolphins game was a Peacock only game. Yeah. So it was less accessible, accessible for many people to watch. The way you can combat that is by having one of the world's most famous people helping to promote your sport. She generated about $340 million in brand for the NFL and the Chiefs this year. That is huge, and that helps keep the sport going along. So I'm not trying to sit here and say, oh, the only reason like this is good is because you're helping the sport grow and you're getting more viewership in. But if you actually care about football, if you're an old head who loves football but hates seeing Taylor Swift, she is helping you gain viewership and keeping the league afloat for years and years to years to come. Because the truth of the matter is sports watching has been declining, and you just got to – transparently, you just got a bunch of like – middle-aged women younger like, women to come it, in and watch football. yeah like like sort of like millennial to like like i guess gen z yeah like w- which has been the demographic the nfl could never reach ever never and and the whole thing is is like to just like even to backtrack a little yeah. bit what do you want taylor to do like she's not doing this for publicity or for the nfl like She's just dating Travis Kelsey because she likes Travis Kelsey as a person. She's like, even gone out and said, like, I feel like the NFL is posting me too much. And she's you even can said see her on the Jumbotron yeah. when she's, like, like telling the camera to get off her. Because she's like, I'm just here to watch. Like, like, if you've ever played a sport and you had a significant other in the crowd or something, would you 
think that would you like if everybody started booing them the second they went on like a jumbotron or something or like they were pointed out in the crowd for some reason like no like mm-hmm. this isn't yeah. uh, obviously as nfl fans that's where we're coming from where it is great for business but just as a person as a human being like what do you like why do you care yeah it's it's adding to the league not subtracting and when i think of things that this could be viewed as negative for. So when we think about, and this doesn't matter what political side you want, it's both. They're not promoting political views. They're not anti-vax. They're not commenting on the wars or out there. All they are is just a couple, a, a couple that is on camera. So when it's, it's kind of fine and quirky when Aaron Rodgers calls Travis Kelsey, Mr. Pfizer. That's and, f- it's, it's and, weird, but funny. Like and whatever. That's it's viewed as funny by everybody. He's allowed to say that Jimmy Fallon's on the Epstein. Oh <laughs> okay, yeah, that was he, crazy. Um, he's allowed to do ayahuasca and the darkness retreat, and all that's kind of viewed as oh, he's quirky and whatnot. Yeah. Um, we don't really have an issue with that. Um, but when Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey just get in a relationship and she happens to be on camera a little bit, it's a problem. It's like we are, we are almost put holding them to a higher standard for doing nothing wrong. Yeah. They're not out there perpetrate like trading perpetuating is the word yeah like anything that's political or negative that, like for god's sake we have to sean watson on the screen yeah. for 17 weeks yeah we, like. have, we have someone who most definitely engaged in you have 70 cases yeah. against him that were all handled out of court okay bro you definitely didn't do anything constant players getting in trouble travis kelsey's never had a really big issue uh taylor swift has done nothing but be quiet and hold herself and her brand to a high level. I've never, no one's ever said a bad thing about Taylor Swift besides her carbon dioxide admissions on our flights. Yeah. But besides that, and also uh, Kim Kardashian, which if you're taking Kim Kardashian's word at face value, I got, we got some <laughs> way bigger yeah. issues here, bro. <laughs> um, so I just, this idea that yeah, these two people who really seem to like each other, yeah, can't be like left alone and the NFL can put them on the screen. And it's like Simone Biles got a lot of attention for a little bit, a small period of time. Yeah. Um, and her husband, I think they're Jonathan Owens. Yeah. Is I, on the I think, I yeah. Think, are they married? They're married. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's, gonna remember, he's, he's remember, a whole, you're going to remember. Yeah. The whole thing there. But they've gotten like more time on the NFL's website and games and whatnot. And Jonathan Owens is nowhere close to as relevant as Travis Kelsey and Simone Biles isn't as popular as Taylor Swift. So they're, this is happening across the league with popular like wives yeah. or, or even now where it's like, oh, well, Taylor Swift was wearing something made by Kyle Uzchek's wife. Yeah, it's just, gonna, just it's like uh, like they, they're they've promoted Christian Uzchek yeah. up because Taylor Swift is wearing a piece yeah. of her clothing. So it's good for Christian. Yeah. Kristen. It's good for Taylor. Yeah. It's good for the Chiefs. The it's NFL good for the league. And it's, like, it's like, guys, if you look, if you just don't like women. You can say that, all right? I don't agree with it. <laughs> just say it. Stop beating around the bush. Just be like, misogynistic. Just be misogynistic. It's just say just it. a game. Like it's not <laughs> it's that a game, deep. bro. Like it's it's not that deep, and it's just, it it really is at this point because like at fir- look at first it was a little nuts where they had her in like the NBC intro during like the Sunday night football thing mm-hmm. where it's like I could see where you could be like all right this is getting a little bit much and then they dialed it back. They did. Like, did they? Because at first it broke the internet when she was first at the Chiefs game. It did. It this, completely broke it. And this is everything with social media. Like, things go in waves. Yeah. Next season, they're going to do the same thing if Taylor Swift's at games. They're going to show her celebrate a few times. That's going to be it. But it's not going to be as big of a deal. Like, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey dating rocked the world in the beginning it with was good in, reason. Because it's two of the most, like, famous people on the planet yes well i guess taylor swift on the planet travis kelsey in the united states yeah, yeah. but like the, the massive pe- like massive personalities yeah in a relationship that's gonna do any whether you're just like artist related or whatever and now it's just not as big of a deal and she acts like every other nfl white like everyone talks about Brittany mahomes yeah um there's plenty of other Brittany's relations something else <laughs> well yeah but i'm saying like she still gets screen time like yeah Brittany mahomes is on the tv damn near as much as taylor swift yep. during those celebrations she's they in the were, box they were cutting to brock party's parents in the crowd yep. yeah no problem with that what's the difference yep it, 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 there's not and so i think as it's all said and done we'll see taylor swift to the super bowl in all likelihood i think everyone like is doing the math on how she can get to the super bowl yeah she can get there she will probably be there yeah um 
Swifties are currently planting trees right now to make sure that they can offset her carbon emissions yeah. to make sure she gets back. And that's and that's just the thing. Like Taylor Swift, like she's done everything right as an artist and as a person yeah. in the spotlight. When there's a lot of scrutiny you can face. Yeah. Travis Kelsey has done nothing but be a good example for the league. Yeah. And they just don't deserve the hate that yeah. has come their way. Which, by the way. Is it, it probably seems like there's a lot more hate than there is because the people that do hate are just very loud. But still. and everyone's making anti hate video. I mean, we're not the, like the first. Like, yeah, of course. Colin Cowherd did. If you have not seen Colin Cowherd's rant on like the Taylor Swift stuff, yeah. go listen to it. It's yeah. so funny and so accurate. Um, he pretty much just like says like lonely men need to like get a life. Yeah, pretty um, much. Yeah. which is true. But uh, Raj, did you have any Taylor Swift takes? Oh, you guys said everything you needed to. Now I'm going to the comedy part of it. Oh, okay. Let's okay. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the memes I see. The there's, memes are so funny. Like NFL music, El Crocker posted a Captain America, save yes. us. <laughs> like there is that aspect that is so funny. 100%. Like now, so they, have, funny. now they have a Brock Purdy like, <laughs> yes. edit of this too. Like I love the memes. I live for them. Dude. Oh my God. Or like there's some out of pocket ones. Like they like, I don't, I don't know if that was a real like Taylor Swift music video or something of her getting thrown under a car. No. So that was her in a movie. Yeah. Yeah. One point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like it was like Taylor Swift stepping foot in Baltimore. She had yeah, a shot. Under a car. I love the memes. Like they're amazing. Yeah, because there there's a very obvious like you know people in the content creation world at least see that it's like oh there's some response here. I'm gonna make a bunch of jokes about it, and then it kind of like snowballs. But like the people that like obviously are clearly just poking fun at this, like that's hilarious. Yeah, it's so are. funny. And, Great. and Travis thinks it's funny. Yeah. Like, Everyone thinks it's like the jokes to a certain extent are funny. Yeah. The the fact that she's on camera a lot is funny yeah. and everything like that. But there's just a point where it's it just overblown. gets cringe to and if you're so much. if you're so depressed and lonely that you're not happy that Travis Kelsey and uh Taylor look really happy celebrating yeah. the AFC championships together. I that's on you. Like if you're not happy that Travis is really pulling for Taylor to get all those Grammy awards that she's gonna get in a few days, like that's on you. Just be happy that two people are happy. Yeah, like especially it's, in a world where both of them are scrutinized daily yeah. for everything they do. Yeah. Ta- I mean, Taylor Swift's driving in motorcades and stuff because yeah. of like threats and, and whatnot. She had and, like a stalker show up at her house like thirty times or something like that. Yeah, like maybe be happy that she seems to be happy yeah. in a relationship. With like someone, just so. at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to be happy. Like for the memes, hate well, all you want. Yeah. Those are hilarious. Those are so <laughs> funny, but. If you're if you genuinely like have an issue with this, like just just be happy, man. Like just find something in it that you can enjoy and just move on. Like it's not that 